Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous Telchines and the Helidae, the famous metal workers, astrologers and seafarers of ancient times. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so stay tuned for upcoming videos. In Greek mythology, the Telchines were the original inhabitants of the island of Rhodes and were known in Crete and Cyprus. Their parents were either Pontus and Gaia or Tartarus and Nemesis or else they were born from the blood of the castrated Uranus along with their Aeneas. In another story, there were nine Telchines, children of Thalassa and Pontus. They had flippers instead of hands and the heads of dogs and were known as fish children. They were regarded as excellent metallurgists. Various accounts state that they were skilled metal workers in brass and iron and made a trident for Poseidon and a sickle for Cronus, both ceremonial weapons. By some accounts, their children were highly worshipped as gods in the ancient roads towns of Ialysos, Camiros and Lindos. The Telchines were entrusted by Rhea with the upbringing of Poseidon, which they accomplished with the aid of Kafira, one of Oceanus' daughters. Another version says that Rhea accompanied them to Crete from Rhodes, where nine of the Telchines, known as the Curetes, were selected to bring up Zeus. The Telchines were associated and sometimes confused with the Cyclops, Dactyls and Curetes. They were believed to bring about hailstorms, snow and rain at will, to assume any ship they pleased and produce a substance poisonous to living things. The gods, Zeus, Poseidon or Apollo, eventually killed them because they began to use magic for malignant purposes. Particularly, they produced a mixture of Stygian water and sulfur, which killed animals and plants. According to Nonos, they did so as a revenge for being driven out of roads by the Helidae. Accounts vary on how exactly they were destroyed, by flood, or Zeus thunderbolt, or Poseidon's trident, or else Apollo assumed the shape of a wolf to kill them. They apparently lost one battle of the Titanomachy, the war between the Olympian gods and the Titans. The following individual names of the Telchines are attested in various sources. Acteos, Argyron, Atavirius, Calchon, Chryson, Damnameneos, Damon or the Monax. Ormenius or Ormenos, Lycus, Megalesius, Milas, Nikon, Simon, Skelmis. Known female Telchines were Machelo, the Xithea, one of Damon's daughters, and probably Lysagora, the attesting text is severely damaged. Ovid in his Ibis mentions that Machelo, like the other Telchines, was killed with a thunderbolt. According to Kalimachus and Nonus, however, Machelo was the only one to be spared. According to Vachilides, the survivor is the Xithea. Bachilides also mentions that the Xithea later had a son, Evxanthios, by Minos. This Evxanthios is also known from Pindar's work. In Greek mythology, the Helidae were the seven sons of Helios and Rhod and grandsons of Poseidon, brothers to Electrione. They were Ochimus, Kerkafus, Macarius or Macar, Actis, Tenages, Triopas and Candalus, Nonusets, Avies and Thrinax. They were expert astrologers and seafarers and were the first to introduce sacrifices to Athena at Rhodes. They also drove the Telchines out of Rhodes. Tenages was the most highly endowed of the Helidae and was eventually killed by Macarius, Candalus, Triopas and Actis, who were jealous of his skills at science. As soon as the crime was discovered, the four had to escape from Rhodes. Macarius fled to Lesbos, Candalus to Kos, Triopas to Caria and Actis to Egypt. Ochimus and Kerkafus, who stayed aside from the crime, remained at the island and founded the city of Achaea, in the territory of modern Ialysos. Ochimus, the eldest of the brothers, seized control over the island. Kerkafus married Ochimus' daughter and succeeded to the power. The three sons of Kerkafus, Lindus, Ialysus and Camirus, were founders and eponymous of the cities Lindos, Ialysus and Camirus respectively. Let us finish with the following saying. It is futile to pray to the gods for that which one has the power to obtain by himself, Epicurus. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.